Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, we're gonna talk about an exciting and new technology, 6G networks. Now I know what you're thinking, you have 5G and that should be enough. And 5G is very fast, but 6G is around the corner. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about 6G networks, the technology, the speeds, and how soon before it arrives. So before we jump into 6G, let's quickly recap 5G. What is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of cellular networks and rolled out in the US in 2019 and promised to be faster than 4G with extremely low latency. So how fast is 5G? 5G can deliver speeds up to 20 gigabits per second in ideal conditions. That's nearly 200 times faster than 4G networks. Using shorter frequencies for 5G networks is why 5G can be faster. This high band 5G spectrum provides the expected boost in speed, capacity, low latency, and quality. 5G's data capacity can be up to 1,000 times that of 4G. With increased data capacity, performance will remain robust for all users, even in crowded locations like cities or airports. 5G can support up to 100 times as many devices and endpoints as 4G. 5G technology offers an extremely low latency rate, and latency is the delay between the sending and receiving of information. And 5G's latency is a mere one millisecond, and a millisecond is one one thousandth of a second. To put this in perspective, the average reaction time for humans is around 250 milliseconds or a quarter of a second. Imagine that your car could react 250 times faster than you. Amazing. 5G has changed the way that we interact with our smartphones, our smart devices, and the internet as a whole. But as we say in the tech world, there's always something better on the horizon. And that something better is 6G. So what exactly is 6G? Well, as a starter, it's the sixth generation of cellular networks. And 6G promises speeds that make 5G look sluggish. 6G networks will have almost instantaneous data transfers and capacities beyond our current comprehension. The first draw-dropping feature of 6G is its speed. And we're talking about terabits per second. Forget gigabits. Imagine downloading entire movies in a fraction of a second, no more buffering, and seamless 8K streaming on your mobile devices. 6G will transform the way we consume content and interact with the digital world. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the low latency of 6G networks. 6G will operate at the terahertz frequency bands, which provides a latency as low as 100 microseconds. To put this in perspective, a microsecond is equal to one one millionth of a second, and a millisecond is equal to one one thousandth of a second. And this real-time responsiveness is a game changer, especially for applications. For instance, like augmented reality, virtual reality, and self-driving vehicles, thanks to Elon Musk. Just imagine a surgeon performing an operation remotely with precision. This is what 6G networks can provide. Ultra speed, ultra low latency. And 6G networks will take this one step further. By creating a web of communication providers, many of those are self-providers, much in the same way that solar power has brought about cogeneration within the smart grid. And 6G could advance mesh networks, helping to extend coverage beyond the range of older cell towers. And another incredible feature of 6G networks is capacity, which means an amazing amount of devices that can be connected at the same time. So for instance, 5G can handle 1 million devices per square kilometer at the same time. But what about 6G? 6G should accommodate 1 billion devices per square kilometer at the same time. It almost sounds impossible. However, with groundbreaking technology, there are challenges, especially when it comes to infrastructure. Upgrading existing infrastructure will be a challenge. The staggering amount of construction needed to build these 6G towers and upgrade the old 5G towers is unimaginable. But with challenges do come opportunities. 6G networks will change industries including healthcare, transportation, entertainment, and beyond. The possibilities are limitless. So who is working on 6G technology? The race to get 6G up and running has quite a few companies involved. Companies in South Korea, China, the US, Finland, Sweden, and Italy. And several universities are on board as well. And companies like Nokia and Ericsson as well. So when will 6G be available? The closest estimates will be in 2030. 
so we're looking at about six years. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give a like, thumbs up, and share it. And for God's sakes, hit the bell notification. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.